welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mackenzie and this is Sorority Recruitment 101, the only channel that's dedicated to answering the questions you may have about what it's like to be in a sorority in college and what it's like to go through sorority recruitment at a big university. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to tell you the top three ways you can find recommendation letters for sorority recruitment. Now this is one of my most requested topics, so I'm so excited to get into all the details and tell you exactly how you can find recommendation letters. Before I jump into today's video, make sure you subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video of me sharing tips and tricks for sorority recruitment or talking about my experience being in a sorority at the University of Alabama. All right, so let's talk all about rec letters. Honestly, I feel recommendation letters are the most important part of your application process for sorority recruitment. Why do I say this? It's because recommendation letters set you apart from everyone else going through recruitment and it makes your presence known to the chapters before you even step foot onto campus. This is most important if you're going to a big university, just because there are so many girls going through recruitment and you need to do everything you can to stand out. Now you may be wondering why sororities look for recommendation letters. If they see that an alumna from their organization recommend you to their chapter, they know you would be a great fit. Having an alumna write your recommendation letter just lets the active members know that you have the same morals and values they do and that you would be a great fit in their chapter. Also that you would benefit the chapter and that it could benefit you. So my first way to find recommendation letters is through your family. Like I've talked about in previous videos, being a legacy to a chapter really puts you a step ahead and gives you a better chance of joining the sorority. You can ask your mom, sister, cousin, aunt, or grandmother to write you a recommendation letter as long as they are an alumna of the organization. If you have a sister or a cousin who's an active member, you can also have them make a call or send an email to the chapter letting them know that you will be going through recruitment and you are a legacy. The second way you can find recommendation letters is through your community. Some people could include your teachers, neighbors, or family friends. And if they can write you a rec letter, they can also ask their friends to write you one. That way you have a huge pool and a huge network of people that can write you a recommendation letter. And the third way to find recommendation letters is through social media. If you think about it, millions of people are on social media every single day. And if you make one post, it can reach thousands of people. The way you can format a post is you make a status on Facebook, let's say, and you say, hi, my name is Mackenzie. I'm rushing at the University of Alabama this fall and I'm going through sorority recruitment. I'm currently looking for people to write me recommendation letters and these are the chapters I'm looking for. List any chapter you don't have a recommendation letter to. If you don't have recommendation letters to any of them, list them all. This will open up to everyone you're friends with on Facebook, but also then they can ask their friends. Also have your parents do this as well because they're friends with an older generation. And in this age group, it's more likely for you to find an alum of a sorority. I definitely recommend you and your parents posting this just because it gives you a bigger pool and therefore gives you more of an opportunity to find a rec letter to every house on campus. All right, you guys, so that is the top three ways to find recommendation letters for sorority recruitment. Some people think it's difficult to find rec letters, but with the power of social media and our communities, it can actually be pretty simple. Definitely just reach out to as many people as you can because you never know who they know. If you have any further questions about recommendation letters or how to find them, definitely comment those down below and make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Also, if you want to join our Sorority Recruitment 101 family and stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks, follow us on all of our social media, which I will link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.